patients at the medical center of Aurora received unusual visits from a rather odd-looking team of health care providers. These therapists won't poke or prod anyone, but they just might cuddle up with them. Nine News medical reporter Dr. Stephanie Clements explains. Visitors are needed here. We just love you. Especially visitors with four paws and plenty of affection. We've worked with the um, ICU down to pediatrics, and these guys seem to know how people will interact with them. Future comes complete with her credentials, and so does a little rookie named Serengeti. I'm a therapy cat. Meet Okavango, cat therapist extraordinaire. He's been on the job for about two years now. The trio goes looking for humans who need their touch, their soothing kindness. They will learn somehow to curl up in an area where it's not painful for them. You are a sweet baby. Somehow, Okavango just knew this patient's other arm can't move. I could keep you. And old Green Eyes seems to know little Jessica has never had a pet. Watch how he nestles in, his back facing her first. Then as he senses Jessica getting more comfortable with him, he faces her and settles in on her tummy. Trust can be healing. Not every animal can do this. Empathy is one of Future's strong points. She can limp with the best of her patients and show off some obedience. And say, I want it. <coughs> Quietly, I want it. <coughs> Cheer shifts from beautiful bouquets to touching comfort, both for patients and staff. <coughs> No matter how many patients they've seen, the trio's never ready to leave. Come on, let's go. Left behind are dozens of patients glad they crossed the path of this black cat and his buddies. Dr. Stephanie Clements, <laughs> Nine News. Both therapy cats are Aussie cats, which are cousins to ocelots. Very few patients are allergic to them. The pet therapy visits at the Medical Center of Aurora are free for patients. Nice idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we would like a little rain this weekend. A little rain would be nice.